everyone. Today, let us see about reasoning in artificial intelligence. In the previous video, we have seen how uh, the knowledge is represented in artificial intelligence. And in this video, we will learn about the various ways to reason on this knowledge using different logical schema. So first, we will be seeing about reasoning. The reasoning is the mental process of deriving logical conclusion and making predictions uh, from available knowledge, fact and belief. We can say reasoning is a way to inter a fact from existing data. It is a gentle process of thinking uh, rationally to find valid conclusion. In artificial intelligence, the reasoning is essential so that the mission can also think rationally as a human brain and can uh, perform like a human. The types of uh, reasoning uh, are uh, first one is deductive reasoning, uh, inductive reasoning, adductive uh, reasoning, common sense reasoning, monotonic reasoning, non-monotonic reasoning. So first we will be discussing about uh, detective reasoning. Detective reasoning is uh, new information from log uh, logically uh, related uh, information. It is uh, the form of valid uh, reasoning uh, which means the arguments uh, may be uh, concluded with a true uh, value. Uh, this deductive reasoning is a type of uh, uh, proportional logic in artificial intelligence and it requires uh, various rules and facts. It is sometimes referred uh, to a top-down uh, reasoning and uh, constructingly to the uh, in, uh, inductive reasoning. In this detective reasoning, uh, the truth of the uh, premises guaranteed to this uh, truth uh, will be considered with the conclusion. The detective reasoning uh, will mostly start from the general uh, premises to the specific conclusion. Here you can see an example here, all the humans eat veggies. The second premises is Suresh is human. Uh, so we can come to a conclusion telling that Suresh eat veggies. And uh, this is how the general process of detective reasoning uh, goes on. The first one is the theory. And the theory uh, becomes hypothesis and the hypothesis convert as a pattern and the pattern uh, will be confirmed, uh, will be given as an output. In the second one, we can see inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is a form of reasoning to uh, arrange or to arrive at a conclusion uh, where we can use limited set of facts by the process of generalization. It starts with a series of uh, specific facts or data and reaches to a general uh, statement or conclusion. This inductive reasoning is a type of uh, uh, proportional logic, uh, which is also known as cost effort uh, reasoning, or it can also be called as a bottom up reasoning. This inductive reasoning, uh, it is an hypothetical uh, data or uh, a variable uh, where this uh, premises has to be generated uh, with a rule. Uh, and this uh, premises uh, will be supporting the conclusion. This inductive uh, reasoning uh, premises uh, will be providing uh, the support to the conclusion so that the truth of the premises uh, does not guarantee to the truth of the conclusion. Here we have an example. The first we will be seeing about the premises. All the pigeons we have seen in the zoo are white. So we come to a conclusion telling that, therefore, we can expect all the pigeons to be white. So how does uh, this uh, pattern has been recognized? First, it has to be observed. That observation has to be converted as patterns. Then that has to be converted as hypothesis. And the last conclusion, we call it as theory. 
So next we will be discussing about abductive reasoning. This abductive reasoning is a form of logical reasoning which starts with a single or multiple observation. This uh, will be seeking to find the most likely uh, conclusion from the observation. And uh, this reasoning is uh, extensive of uh, uh, detective reasoning. Um, and this uh, premises uh, will not uh, get uh, the guarantee to be the conclusion. So, uh, first we will be seeing the first uh, implication that is the cricket uh, ground is wet if it is raining. So, the uh, conclusion uh, we get is cricket ground is wet. So, what is the conclusion? Uh, we, uh, we can ca call it as it is raining. The next one is common sense reasoning. This common sense reasoning is a, a informal form of reasoning which can be gained through experiences. This common sense reasoning uh, uh, will be uh, like a human ability to uh, make some uh, uh, event which occurs on every day. It relies on good uh, judgment rather than exact logic and operations on hypothetical uh, knowledge uh, and uh, um, the rules. And here uh, we have uh, some examples. Uh, one person can be at one time at a uh, place. So here uh, we can uh, call the second one as if I put my hand in the fire, then it will burn. So here uh, we should have common sense uh, reasoning uh, which a human mind can easily understand and assume. And the next one is monotonic uh, reasoning. This monotonic uh, reasoning, um, when uh, we get a conclusion uh, once, then uh, that conclusion is taken and then it will be, uh, it remains the same even uh, if we add uh, some other information to the existing information and that uh, we call it as our knowledge base and this monotonic reasoning adds knowledge uh, which does not uh, decrease the set of uh, uh, pre-processing and uh, that can be uh, derived easily. The the, to solve this uh, monotonic problem uh, we actually uh, derive the valid conclusion from the available facts only and it can uh, uh, it is not affected by the new facts and this uh, reasoning is not uh, useful for the real time system as uh, it is uh, uh, done in real time and uh, the facts get changed so we cannot use monotonic reasoning. And this reasoning is used in uh, conventional uh, reasoning system also and also in logical based system. And uh, the examples, uh, we can use it as uh, earth revolves around the sun. So uh, it is a true fact and uh, it cannot be uh, changed even uh, if we add another sentence to this uh, knowledge based. So the we can also add it as the moon revolves around the earth or the earth is not uh, round. Any uh, uh, thing can be used here and uh, the advantages uh, which we use here, the advantages which we have in monotonic reasoning is uh, each odd uh, proof will always uh, remain the valid and uh, we can detect some facts from the available facts and it will remain valid uh, always and the next one we will be seeing about non-monotonic reasoning this non-monotonic reasoning uh, has some uh, conclusions uh, which may be uh, invalid if we add uh, some some more information to our uh, knowledge base this logic uh, will be uh, used as non-monotonic if uh, some conclusions can be uh, invalid by addressing more knowledge into our knowledge base. This non-monotonic reasoning deals with incomplete and uncertain models. And here, this 
uh, human uh, perceptions of various thinking is uh, uh, has to be done in daily life and it is generally uh, the examples uh, which we give we call it as non monotonic uh, reasoning and here uh, we have some examples that will support uh, this knowledge based uh, content the first one is birds can fly penguins cannot fly pity is a bird so here uh, we have some conclusions um, that uh, pity can fly so here uh, if we add uh, one another sentence with this knowledge base that is pity is a pigeon uh, which has a conclusion telling that pity cannot uh, fly so it is um, uh, we can call it as in a validate uh, conclusion and uh, here the advantages of this uh, non monotonic reasoning is uh, in the real world the system such as robot uh, will be uh, the navigated and we uh, can use non monotonic reasoning and uh, this non monotonic reasoning uh, can be choosed by the fact or can uh, make some uh, assumption here thank you all uh, for listening